Good day, Team Rev. The word for this week is courage. Now, what is courage? Courage is that quality which enables us to face difficulty and danger without fear or depression. Courage is not the absence of fear, but the capacity to move forward in spite of your fear. How many times have you been afraid in life? How many times have you been, you've been in situations where you feel like, I can't go on, I can't make it, I can't do this, I can't accomplish this task? Well, courage means that you move in spite of your fears, you move in spite of your challenges. In life, you're gonna face difficulties. In life, you're gonna face hostile situations, you're gonna face people who come against you. Sometimes people come against you for no good reason. It takes courage to move forward. It also takes courage to be a leader. We live in a hostile environment. We live in an environment with many adversaries, but you have to remember that you have to have confidence in who you are and what your assignment is, what you're supposed to be doing, and be courageous in spite of your fears. Jesus made a statement. He said, in this world, you will have tribulation. In other words, in this world, you will have challenges. But he said to be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. So in spite of your challenges, in spite of the things you face, remain courageous. When you're a leader, you're going to have to listen to people ridicule you. You've gonna, you're going to have to listen to people second guess you. But courage means that you persevere even though you know that people are going to say the wrong things about you. People are going to challenge you. People are going to question you or ridicule you. So in life, you have to have courage to continue no matter what the challenge is. I'm reminded of the story of David and Goliath. In life, in your life, there will be some giants. Courage does not even mean that you are guaranteed of a favorable outcome. What courage means is that you have so much confidence in yourself and what God has given you that you go towards the problem in spite of the possible outcome. So when we look at the example of David and Goliath, he wasn't guaranteed that he was gonna um, have a favorable outcome, but he decided because of the confidence within and because of the God that he served that he was gonna face the giant. So today, I wanna encourage you to face your giants with courage, and I believe you will overcome. Rev.